welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know what you're probably thinking, why aren't you in New York case? You said in your last, like, New York vlog that this was going to be the last vlog. But basically, I am home now, as you can probably tell, and I do still have a super, super croaky voice. So the last day that I was in New York, I did manage to get a few little clips, and I will insert them now. Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can probably hear in my voice already, my voice is literally on its way out. Like, I've woke up this morning and I've definitely got some kind of, like, either throat infection or chest infection. I literally can't stop coughing. But anyway, it's the last full day in New York today. So, yeah, like I said, I'll probably just be showing you, like, where we're going today because I don't really know where we're going to go, to be honest with you. Literally, this is our last full day in New York, so we might as well make the most of it. So, I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing and then let's just get straight into the... So, as you can probably see, I've literally just got my, um, like, pink baseball hat on the same as I had on yesterday. And then as you come down, I've just got this um, like white roll neck kind of bell sleeve-ish kind of jumper. It's from Rhode Island. And then I've just paired it with some joggers. These are the joggers that I wore on the plane on the way out here. They're from Mistress Rocks in case any of you were wondering. But yeah, I might put my um, card on over the top because I am a bit chilly today. But yeah, let's just get straight into the video, guys. Those clips were literally minimal and there wasn't really enough footage there to just put them into a vlog so basically I thought I'd just kind of insert them into this kind of like video kind of thing I'm doing and then just kind of explain to you a bit about why there wasn't much footage and then kind of explain about what are the best places that I found while I was in New York really yes yeah, so that's basically what I thought I'd do really so as you can see from the footage there really isn't much and my voice is still bad right now so basically if you watch the boxing day vlog i will link it down below if you haven't because you should definitely check it out it might end up making more sense as to why i'm not really feeling that great so <coughs> so like i said i will leave it in the description box down below sorry my voice does keep going so basically all day boxing day i wasn't really feeling well as you can probably tell from the vlog if you saw it and then I woke up on the 27th, which was our last full day in New York. And as you can probably tell, like, I don't know if you can hear it as much as you can now. But basically, my voice was on its way out. Like, I ended up with, like, a chest infection, a throat infection, God knows what else. I don't know if it was because of, like, New York traffic. Because, I mean, if you think London traffic is bad, New York traffic is literally on, like, another scale. There's cars everywhere. So if you are asthmatic, definitely remember to, like, take your, like, pumps and stuff like that because I mean you're definitely gonna need them because there is traffic absolutely everywhere and even like on the ground like you've probably seen it in movies like there's steam and stuff coming out of the drains well that is real there's like steam and stuff coming out of the drains and that in New York <coughs> sorry I'm gonna keep coughing it's really really annoying so yeah so that is true there is like steam and stuff coming out of the drains like constantly so I don't know if it was like because my like throat isn't used to that or whatever and I just managed to get ill quicker or whether it's just because I picked up some kind of flu or something while I was out there I'm not entirely sure how, how I ended up this ill I just don't know really but yeah so the day after boxing day was the 27th which was what that like footage was from basically I started off the day like not feeling that great downstairs and had some breakfast as you probably heard I can't remember if I said that or not but I went downstairs and grabbed some breakfast and then we walked like towards Madison Avenue which was where that like round um like sequence kind of like I did like a round clip you probably know what I'm on about but yeah that was basically from Madison Avenue which was literally like two or three blocks away from our hotel so it wasn't that far at all really and literally we got there and I was like I really really don't feel well like I just couldn't, I literally, I couldn't breathe. Well, I could breathe, but I was, like, struggling. Like, my nose was literally streaming. I couldn't stop coughing. Like, my cough is so much better now, but I was literally, like, ten times worse. I could hardly, like, talk. My voice was going, oh, my God, it was awful. Literally, I just didn't feel well at all. So I basically just went back to the hotel, 
by this point we'd already checked out because we had to check out by 10 a.m. because we our flat was literally at like 10 o'clock that night so we didn't get picked up until like seven and a half seven something like that <coughs> and then our flat actually ended up being delayed which was I mean there's another story but it wasn't that bad to be honest with you but yeah so I actually just went back to the hotel just kind of chilled in the lobby for the whole day so that's basically why there isn't any footage until literally we're leaving and we're getting on the plane and god knows whatever else but yeah, so that's basically what I just basically, I was just really didn't feel why I had like a chest infection, throat infection, any other thing going, as I've already said. But yeah, that's basically why. And as you can probably hear, it is still in me. I should probably go to the doctors and try and get some antibiotics in the new year if it hasn't already gone. But yeah, my doctors didn't open until the new year, so there's not really a great deal I can do apart from just take some paracetamol, a few like honey lemon drinks, but <coughs> sorry, it is really, really annoying, I know. But yeah, so that's basically why there isn't that much footage from New York. <coughs> Honestly, it's getting on my nerves. But yeah, so that's basically why the last day wasn't that, like, eventful. Not a lot really happened, to be honest with you, because I was just really, really run down. But yeah, so that's basically what happened. But to kind of finish off these New York vlogs, I thought I might as well speak to you about the best things that we did while we was out there, anything I'd recommend and sorry if this vlog ends up going a little bit late, I am actually filming this on the day it goes up, it's literally, it's 20 to 3 right now and this is meant to go up at 5 o'clock, hopefully it's going to go up on time but if it doesn't then it goes up a little bit late, but if it doesn't it does end up going up a little bit late then I mean you know why, I'm still quite ill and I'm trying to film it as late as possible so that hopefully I sound a little bit better. But if you want to hear about my like overall experiences of the places that we went from like all the other New York vlogs, then just keep on watching. So from the first day that we was there, as you can probably tell from the vlog, we, on day one we literally just arrived. There wasn't really a great deal other than that that happened because we landed like so late in the evening. By the time we got to the hotel and everything, it was literally day two pretty much. So then on day two, as you can probably tell by the vlogs, I will leave all the New York vlogs down below in the description. So if you want to go and check them out, so you can kind of know what I'm referring to, then just take a look down below. They will all be linked down there. But yeah, so and then on day two, we went down to like the Brooklyn Bridge area. We went and saw the 9-11 Memorial. We also visited Grand Central Station. And I think we went to Foxy John's that night for dinner. But yeah, all like the tourist attractions that we saw, like the 9-11 Brooklyn Bridge and Grand Central Station, all of them I would 100% recommend, they are all really, really good. Literally, Grand Central Station is actually out of this world, like all of us absolutely loved it in there, especially they decorated it so Christmassy, like there was reefs everywhere, like it was just unbelievable. And if you're not gluten free then my brother kept getting some like bagels from there and apparently they was really, really good, but if you are gluten free like me then you couldn't get anything in there. But yeah, there was a really good like bakery for people who aren't gluten free in there. But yeah, obviously I didn't try it so I can't actually say if it was good or not. But everyone else that was with me seemed to say it was good. So I mean, I'm just going to take their word for it. So yeah, I'd 100% recommend going to Grand Central Station. Brooklyn Bridge was really, really good. We actually ended up like going all the way across it, which was really, really good. It took ages to be honest with you. And we kept on like stopping and taking rest and stuff. <coughs> then obviously that evening we went to Foxy John's. Foxy John's is a little bit lively. It's probably the most lively place that we... Um, like eight in we did actually end up seeing at the bar area because we didn't actually end up booking a table because we didn't realize that it was going to be that manic everywhere so, but obviously if you are into like a more drinking culture of new york then a fox john's is a really really good place and it is very affordable so definitely check it out if you're into something a little bit more lively going of an evening really but yeah it was really really good and we all really enjoyed it and then on day two we actually went to Top of the Rock. It was really, really, really good. Like that was one of our best like experiences that we did. We actually got a, I think it was called Sun and Stars Pass, where we could go up once in the um like daytime and then once for the evening, once it was all up. We all said that when we was up there in the day, like the central park view was the best side of like the daytime, and then when you went up there overnight the view from the Empire State Center because when you're up there you can see like right the way around so one view shows you like Central Park and then the other side shows you like the Empire State and like downtown but yeah in the daytime they was both really really good it was just overnight we really really all liked the way that like the Empire State and that was all up it looked really really cool and then that evening we went and saw the Saks um, Likes I think it's called Saks Fifth Avenue Saks Avenue 
I think it's called Sax Avenue or something like that. But yeah, we saw like the light show on like the front of it and that was really, really good. And obviously we then went to Connolly's of the evening, which was turned into literally our favourite place to eat of an evening. But yeah. <coughs> But yeah, I would 100% recommend going to Connolly's if you are staying anywhere near there. Or even if you're not staying that, like, near it. And you fancy just trying somewhere that's, like, a little bit of an Irish kind of pub but does good American food. Like, it's kind of got a much more chilled back vibe than Foxy John's does. But, I mean, it was still really, really good nonetheless. Like, we all literally loved the food in there. It was a really, really reasonably priced for New York. And, I mean, the drinks weren't that expensive, really, in there either. So, I mean definitely onto a good one if you go in there and then going on to christmas eve we actually went to um like bryant park times square times square is actually really really hectic like there's people absolutely everywhere although while you're in new york if you haven't been before then you should definitely go and see it but it is literally one of the most hectic places that you will ever be in your life like literally there's people everywhere just like aiming at you it is really really good nonetheless just to see all the lights but literally once we saw the lights we literally left because it was literally that manic we weren't there for very long at all to be honest with you and then obviously as you probably saw if you watched the vlog we um we ended up heading out towards Radio City to go and get our um, Christmas Spectacular tickets on the Broadway for um, Christmas Day evening, which was really, really good, as I'll get onto that in a minute. So, obviously, moving on to Christmas Day, as I've probably already started it now already. But, yeah, on Christmas Day, we went to Central Park and we did a um, horse and carriage around Central Park, which was amazing. Literally, the man on that was so, so, like, informative. Literally, he knew everything about everyone and everything about everything literally he was so knowledgeable how he literally remembers everything as he's going around god knows because he literally knows everything about everything and even if you ask him a question nine times out of ten he'd know the answer like it was literally insane but yeah we ended up doing like the long um because apparently you can do like a short course or a long course we ended up doing the long course which literally took all you which literally took you around the whole of Central Park, whereas the short one only took like half of it or something like that. But as we've never ever been there before, we just thought we might as well do the long one. So we did, and it was absolutely amazing, and I couldn't recommend it enough. If you ever get the chance to go to Central Park and do a horse and carriage around it, I would 100, 100 million percent recommend it. And obviously that afternoon we went to SDK Midtown, which was where we had Christmas dinner. Because as far as we could find, not many places in America like have a traditional Christmas dinner like we do. They tend to have that from what we found out more on like Thanksgiving. So yeah, so we just went to SDK as I've already said. One thing I would say about SDK Midtown is that it is very expensive, as are most of it. The SDK like brands in general. So yeah, that was the, actually the most expensive meal that we had all the time that we was out there. And funnily enough, it was the most expensive meal, but also the waitress that we had was the rudest that we had. Whether it's because it was Christmas Day or not, who knows. I mean, the food was really good, as I've probably already said. But the waitress, I mean, manners cost nothing, you know what I mean? She just wasn't really loving her life on Christmas Day. But, I mean, it could have been because it's Christmas Day and she didn't really want to be working. But, I mean, manners really cost nothing, so it was a bit like... I had all this money, but oh well. And then after that, we headed down to um, Radio City to go and see the Christmas Spectacular, which was really, really good. It was absolutely amazing. And I would literally a million, million percent say go and see it if you ever get the chance because it is really, really good. Actually, all of us said that it was amazing. So I'd 100% recommend going if you ever get the chance, really. But yeah, and then obviously on Boxing Day was um, just like a bit of shopping and then off to our favourite restaurant, Colonies of an Evening, because, I mean, I think we actually visited there three times in total while we was out there, which, I mean, speaks volumes, really, doesn't it? We was there for a week, and literally half that time we spent in that restaurant of an evening. But, yeah, it was really, really good, and we all thoroughly enjoyed it in there. But, yeah, and then, obviously, you saw the footage earlier from the 27th, which was the last full day that we was there. But, yeah, so... That pretty much rounds off this New York trip, guys. I do really hope you have enjoyed all of the New York vlog, guys. I really, really have enjoyed doing them. Like, it's kind of like memories for life now, isn't it? That I've kind of got of just, like, different things we did and saw while we was out there. So that can kind of flick back through if ever, like, been a bit nostalgia. Nostalgia? Nostalgic? Or anything like that. But, yeah, I really, really did enjoy creating them, really. But, yeah, I had the most amazing time in New York, and I would 100% recommend to anyone to go in. 
But yeah, I do really hope you enjoyed these videos, guys. If you did, please give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. I mean, hopefully I'm going to sound and feel a lot better for the next video and hopefully this croakiness is definitely going to gone. But yeah, until next time, guys. See ya!